Hey there, this is Andrew with ADS here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and personal branders. Welcome and thanks so much for being here. Today you are in for a treat. I'm chatting with the Alicia Way. If you do not know him, I'm going to link to him below. But I met him recently in some YouTube groups and what I have to tell you about him is this brother knows his stuff specifically about like YouTube setup, video, audio, all that great stuff and content. So you're going to want to listen to this, get some great tips and I'll see you on the other side. So do I, did I say your name right? It's Alicia. Alicia. Yeah, it's Alicia. Yeah. Alicia. Mm -hmm. Alicia way. Yeah. And that's your, and that's your real name. Not like your stage name. Yeah. No, that's on my birth certificate. That's on my license. Yeah. So I love it. That's I funny. Cause it. people do think it's like a stage name and I'm like, what? It's what cool. a, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. At least like, look at way. my name. My name is Andrea Smith. Like <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Andrea Smith. That's dope. That's a very no, you know, <laughs> nice name. <laughs> Okay, so question for you. So you were in, you still do music, like that's still your thing, but also content creation, monetization is your thing now for sure. Yes, absolutely. But so, you yeah. still love music. Well, yeah, music isn't going nowhere because music at the core of, of who I am, that's like the epitome of who I am. I'm, I'm music. I love music. I was raised around it. It was kind of like inbred in me. So, you know, I still play keys for my church. You know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, whenever I get time, I still make beats. That's kind of how I came up in the ranks as a producer. Right. So um, and then from production, I turned into like a songwriter because, you know, as you're making beats and you want to sell them, a lot of artists don't know what to do with the beat. So he's like, OK, let me show you what to do with the beat. So you write the song. So I turned it from a producer to a song songwriter and then from there you know I had a pretty decent career like even now I could still have a pretty decent career in music because I still have some solid connections in the music business they're always asking me hey do you got any new beats or any new hooks that we can shop to artists and you know I'm just like eh you know it's not really my thing but you know um, that's kind of like my passion is is music which transitioned um, into be, me learning how to monetize my music monetize my gift there it transitioned into me wanting to learn how to market my music better, like online, because it's like, it's frustrating when you know you make great music and you have a base of fans who's like, man, your music is great, man. Why aren't you bigger, man? Why aren't you bigger than you are? And it's like, well, to answer that question is because I don't know marketing. I don't know, you know, branding. I don't know, you know, um, you know, you know, all the things that just kind of like ads, like what you do, don't know how to run ads and things like that. So that kind of really tweaked my interest to be like, I need to learn how to market myself as a musician. And then that just engulfed me, right? To be like, I need to learn how to just market period. I need to learn how to brand period. Yeah. So then I, that's when, that's where YouTube came in at. And now I'm on this path now to be like, uh, learn content creation because we need to create content around our brands, our businesses, our marketing strategies. We need visuals. We need flyers. We need, um, you know, podcasts and YouTube. All this is content, um, but we don't just want to be making content. We want to make it to actually be effective, right? So that's where the monetization comes in at. So we're not on the content. Like I say, the content hamster wheel, just creating content. That's like, what is it doing for us? What is it doing for our business, right? So yeah, it's not just content creation, but it's also the monetization. So yeah. So you really got into like the whole business side of it because, and I think that's what a lot of people miss, you know, because we have our passions and we have, you know, the things that excite us and the things that we love, um, you know, but then we often are missing that business side, you know, like I, I have some clients who are doctors, they talk about that all the time, you know, about how they don't, they kind of miss that business lesson. Yeah, um, you know, growing up. and yeah. same thing for you know everyone else, like you know artists who are really great at what they do, and then they don't know the business side of it all. And so, yeah, I feel you. I could actually be honest with you. I could be better on the actual business side of things, like far as like my business entities, my structure, and how my business is structured. That's kind of something I'm going through right now, uh, far as like you know learning about as a creative because you have to go through different like tax like exemptions and different forms like 1099 and schedule c and all these different business forms i'm actually to be honest with you learning that side of stuff because it gets really tricky when you have different like income streams as a creative and then like like recently i just went to like 
apply for a house and they're like, Alicia, you make great money, right? But it's everywhere, you know, and then you don't have a business entity that you're putting it into. You're just, you know, you know, just kind of like paying yourself on like your social, the 1099 joint. So then you're also writing a lot of it off. So it's like, essentially that's not income you're writing it off so you actually even though you make a lot you bring a lot of money in you write most of it off so you're actually not really making no money so i'm learning a whole lot on the business side and i'm just i'm actually glad i'm learning that end of it now while i don't really have a whole whole lot of money even though i make decent money um but really i think where i shine is on the content creation side right and and actually getting my content in front of people to actually then, you know, uh, compel them to pay me in some way, right, for that. So that that comes a little bit natural to me, like the content creation, the monetization. Now, you know, after that point, after I have the money, like the business side of it, like how did it come in and and how is it structured? Now, that is something maybe you can help me with, right? But that is the part that I'm actually learning because, and that's an important part. We have so many creators, right, that, like I said before, they're really good at being creative. It's natural. They're even mm -hmm. making money off of it. They're monetizing it. But it's kind of like, it's almost like a bunch of money under the mattress. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, they're like, they're like hood rich, as, as we like to say. And uh, <laughs> you, in this game, you can't be hood rich. So that's really um, what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to learn outside of it. Thankfully, I have like this marvelous CPA. She talks real loud. If she ever sees that, she knows she does. And <laughs> but she is so excellent at what she does. And she, I need people like that because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't <laughs> have the patience to learn it. I probably never will. It is not my lane. And so, you know, I would much rather pay my lady to do that for me. And, you know, she, yeah. she's good. She'll tell me everything, you know, like the stuff wow. I didn't even know. Wow. I was supposed to know. You wow. know, she was like, you know, you can, she was like, let me help you with your um, mileage on your car because you really should be doing this with it so that you can get this amount later. Wow. And, yeah. and I'm like, girl, do what you do. <laughs> do I'm what you got to do, my, right? <laughs> here's my receipts, honey. Man, there you go. <laughs> That's all. That, that's funny because I was in a I was in a clubhouse group earlier today, and uh, are you on Clubhouse? I'm jealous. No, because I'm in Android world, and I do I'm, not. I am, I'm Android too, but you have an iPad. You have an iPad, right? Yeah. No. No. This. This is. I'm gonna show you right here. It's an iPad Mini. It's an iPad. It, it mini doesn't because... matter. It's an iPad. It's an iOS device. I can't get it though. I tried. You I can search for it. Oh, you might not be searching for the right app. So what you have to do is just go on Clubhouse. I don't know why we're going this way, but I am telling you this. <laughs> Everyone is talking about it, so it's cool. It's powerful. It's a powerful app. So you have to get on there and you have to start networking with people, especially the business that you're in. You're going to get so many clients. You're going to meet so many people. So yeah, just go on, find the clubhouse app.com, go ahead or whatever it is. And then you can actually create a profile now, even though you don't have an invite and one of your friends, I'm sure you have many of them say, Hey, they God, already I, invited me. And I was like, I can't get on because I don't have my, yeah. But yeah. So I said all that to say I was in the clubhouse room and it was a bunch of creatives and they were talking about how to do their taxes and stuff like that. Cause it messes a lot of people up. And that's when I really realized, man, I got to figure that out because like I said, I went to apply for a house earlier this year and they're like, man, Alicia, you make great money, but you don't have it right. You know, you got to figure that part out because it, you you can't necessarily prove that you make it. And they were like, we can't use the YouTube income because I make money from YouTube ads and all type of stuff. But it wasn't I didn't have it in a right vehicle for them to accept it or something like that. So I got to figure that part out. Uh, well, if you need a great CPA, let me know because she is on point <laughs> and she will get you straight so fast. So. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. Might have to have, I might have to take you up on that. Yes. Yep. Certified platinum. I'll send it to you. She's marvelous. Sweet. She's marvelous. Um, so good. So, okay. Conferences. I have to ask you about conferences and okay. I know we're in COVID. Yeah. Um, are you big on the conferences related to this space in YouTube? Um, do you want to go to some or do you go or, you know, what, what's your deal with conferences? Yeah. So I know like um, as far as it relates to uh, YouTube, they have VidCom and they have like uh, people of video conference. They have um, another one that they're always talking about. Now I have never been to any of those because once again, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of new as a content creator on YouTube. So uh, I've been blessed enough though, in this a very short amount of time, I've been blessed enough to really meet some awesome people. Like I did an interview last night with Tom Buck and he's like a rising YouTube 
star, you know, uh, and that's just one example of some really phenomenal people that I, that I have met in the YouTube space. And I said that to say that I really, I really do look forward to when everything opens back up. I really do look forward to going out to actual physical conferences. Um, I am signed up for Sean Cannell's um, yeah. like course and his uh, video ranking academy. So he's always like, a, they, they text me today about like training and stuff. So I'm kind of always in, in the midst of some type of virtual thing that's going on but um no nah, i mean so to answer your question more direct yeah i'm cool with the virtual conferences and, and i support all of them but i really want, want to like rub some elbows and shake some hands and, and meet some people but at the end of the day we have to use what we got right now right so the virtual conferences are great you know the zoom calls you know a lot of the like the clubhouse the, the, the audio app like like so much creativity has come out of the pandemic right that you know we're able to still connect and that's what's the most beautiful part about like me and you we even ever met right so you know we met on i think youtube i think i came across your channel and i liked your content i think i added you on facebook and then you know you were approachable you actually responded i don't know how we started talking about you know we were approachable i felt right? like so. it was through um rob balasavis's group the content uh, maybe content cafe maybe 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 yeah yeah somewhere so that makes sense yeah because you posted a video and i clicked on it and went to youtube and watched it and then i think i left you a comment and then you watched my stuff and then you left me a comment yeah. and i was like okay cool yeah, we're good we're good so yeah and then we added each other so yeah we're gonna have a long friendship after this yeah. <laughs> i'm pretty sure good so, but, i but, love it yeah that's just to say though that's this is the new world that we live in right we we have to be approachable we can't be like in our own stuck in our own little world like yeah. because after this is over and everything opens back up, I'm sure I'll be in Georgia or you'll be in Florida and we can meet up or we'll be in California at a video conference. And, and it's going to be so amazing to see all these people that we've met virtually and actually had you know, like built like businesses with or relationships with. And like just to get to see each other in the flesh, it's going to be like overwhelming. Right. Like especially like Diana Gladney. I've never met her in person. Doc Rock never met him. Parat Balasabas. Like I can go down a list of people who I've yeah. never met person but i almost feel like we're family in some weird way yeah. so yeah man so i know that's a long answer no when... i totally understand because okay okay so i am newer to this space too my channel is technically it's three years old now yeah um but i feel like it's shorter than that but yeah it's uh -huh. like, it just hit three and <laughs> i just stumbled upon you know this whole world of people that i knew nothing about that are now wow. Yeah. household names for me just like they are for you yeah and yeah. um i happen to i've had my eye on social media marketing world for the longest ever since i learned about that's it. the one i was trying to think of that's the one yeah. i was trying to think of out yeah. of san diego yeah 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 i finally got to go last year just like covid was hitting like the news just as we were leaving it was <laughs> all on the news and we were like should we be out here having <laughs> brunch together like, <laughs> like what wow. should we do and, um, you know, but I was so glad I got to go there. And I just say all that to say that um, when I was out there, I got to see people like Pat Flynn. Wow. Who knew my name. Like Are I'm walking serious? down the hall and I see him and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Pat. And I am not like a starstruck person, you know, wow. like, you know, you're in the, in yeah. the music industry, you spot celebrities yeah. and you're like, you know, so yeah. Now I'm not a celebrity person like that, but <laughs> when I saw Pat, I was like, oh, stop, that's Pat. You, you had to fangirl a lot for a bit, yeah. But he said my name before I even said his. He was How like, is that? Hey. Like, he knows your channel and stuff? Like, I guess because I just have interacted with him, and I don't know, but wow. he, I was like, dang, I need a memory like yours. <laughs> For real, that's dope. Pat, Pat Flynn knows your name? Psh, man, that's dope. You need to leverage that. That's good content. That's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. Yeah. And, um, you know, so it's so it is cool. It's just I'm just validating your point that it's cool to meet all these wonderful people in this place. Absolutely. Cool. Um, so so let me ask you about, you know, since you and I were both newer to newer relatively to the space. <laughs> we're new tubers, not YouTubers. We're new tubers. That's my term. New tubers. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. Um. Where do you see yourself going with it? Because you have a good thing going with the whole, I mean, I love, I love this set you have. Like I'm taking tips, like oh, my right. business is this green color and you got the cool green lights going on. I'm like, oh, hey, maybe I should do these are cheap <laughs> RGBs. Yeah, these are cheap RGBs. You just get them there. Like literally, I'll send you the link. They're literally, I think 20 bucks a piece. I could change them to let me see, blue, 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Yeah, I can change it to red and pink and all type of stuff. So I'll change it back to green right now though. But I'll change it back to green. That's my brand colors. So. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, but this that's easy stuff. I would love to see what, what are you using now? Like a, just a, a webcam? Yeah. Well, this right now <laughs> for Zoom, I literally am just using my laptop. Laptop. Just gotcha, my laptop. gotcha. Gotcha. And the only reason this, this road mic is here is because I just <laughs> got it for Christmas. And um, I did a podcast. Well, yeah, it was a podcast interview with my friend who is has a podcast coach he's very serious about his podcast oh wow and um and he is very anal about sound quality right now yeah and so he was yeah. like andrea well he watches my channel so he knows like normally i use a little lapel mic and my <laughs> and my it's literally like my lapel mic and this phone is what <laughs> all my videos are recorded with right that's now. what's up but i did just get this for christmas i got this canon thing canon i have no idea how to work it like, Canon M50. Yeah. That's the same camera I'm using right now. What the snap? Really? See, yes. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you got to, you got to, you tripping. You got to get that going. Because all you got to do is hook it up to your laptop and bam, you in business. I, I got to learn. I see. see I if I was in Marietta, I, I would come over and just hook everything up for you. But that's like a eight hour drive for me. So sorry. That's what I need. Somebody <laughs> who knows they already know it and they're like well your friend you said he he told you about the mic so is he is he close by he's not youtube though he's only uh, podcast yeah he doesn't do YouTube. he doesn't he doesn't know about cameras and stuff though mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. That sucks. Nope. only in the podcast world sorry but guess who does live near here Who's i that? know you know him roberto blake he lives he lives in atlanta he's in kennesaw he just moved here like two three years ago or something he's not in california no, he moved out here. If I was you, I would reach out to Roberto for real. I already like, did. He's already spoken for me. <laughs> he, what do you mean? Roberto has done workshops for me, and um, and Diana has done a workshop for me. I have wow. not met Diana, but I have met Roberto. Wow, wow, that is and, dope. I would be <laughs> leveraging. I would be leveraging that. I'd be like, bro, I'm right down the street. I'm, you know, I'm right down. You know, what's up? What you? I buy, buy you lunch to come over here. Why you? Know, we have pizza. While you're eating pizza, you be cooking up my camera. Man, you need to be leveraging that, man, for real. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to take advantage of people. So I'm like, I'm always just so. I just try to be nice to him, and you know, like. No, he's Scary. nice. If if you were to say, "Hey, Roberto, I just got me an M50 for Christmas. I have me a road mic. I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, hey, if I buy if I buy pizza, would you come over and we have pizza and you hook my stuff up? You never know, man. I would be freaking saying that crap, like for real. I feel but, like yeah. I would be so insulting because it's Roberto. I'm like, <laughs> you know, we know what I learned, man. I learned to just be authentic. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. If you being authentic, of course, use wisdom, of course, you know, use have some what's the word couth or whatever. And, and, <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, whatever. But if you're being authentic and like, listen, hey, you know, you especially you already have like a business working relationship with him on some type of level. And he lives close to you and knowing that he knows his stuff when it comes to cameras. I would say, hey, listen, hey, I just got this stuff in. I really want to uh, level up my visual and my audio. And, uh, you know, uh, do you think you could help me hook everything up? And then if not, you know, always give them a segue out, right? I always like to get people out. And if not, do you know somebody who who's around who, who could maybe help me? And you never know. You might be, he might be like, where you live? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be over there. And you would be like, Phew. and all you had to do is open your mouth, man. So like me, I got Tom Buck on my show last night and he's, to me, he's a YouTube superstar. You know what I'm saying? So he gets into the cameras and the audio. That's what his whole channel is about. And, and some of these people, you know, of course I have like, I kind of have like a vibe thing. Like I can tell who I, how I would kind of vibe with. I don't just hit people up if I don't get that vibe from them, but I hit them up and I'm like, Hey, I have a, a new show creators on the come up. Would you want to come on? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, and he didn't even know me from a can of beans. So, you know, so I'm saying you even have more rapport with Roberto. So that's what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, not do that. I would at least try to do that and let me know how it goes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cause you, you have you, the M, you have a you have an M fifty right there like you're just wasting it. No, I'm gonna learn. I literally just got because it it wasn't even available. Like I knew I got it for Christmas, but then it was a it literally a gift because I was <laughs> on my and then but they were like it's not gonna be it doesn't arrive until like sometime in January. So I literally just got it. Yeah, yeah. You need and to now do I'm that. like looking at it like oh I don't want to mess it up. But yeah. yeah, you see this now I will say 
it comes with a kit lens and the kit lens is way better than what you're using now. Don't get me wrong. So you can start with that. But what I have is a Sigma 16 millimeter lens and that's what it gives you like the blurry background and a nice, mm, really yeah. sharp picture. But that's a $400 lens. So you want you want to work your way up to that. But in the meantime, it comes with an excellent lens that you can use and it'll be way better than what you have right there. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like this lens and then it's some other lens came with it and I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> okay. I will take your advice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, um, so question for you. So where, where do you see all this heading for you with this content creationness? Do you see it like becoming your full-time life, you know, and all yeah. your income and all that goodness or what do you, what do you want to do with it? I mean, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I've been blessed. And and, and it's kind of how content ecosystem came about in the first place. Uh, when the pandemic hit, I literally had, because, all right, so let me go back a little bit. In 2017, I started live streaming for myself. Mm -hmm. Just when Facebook Live came out, I'm like, let me figure out how to do that. So I started live streaming for myself. Uh, I, st I kind of got into, um, like, just the technical side of it. So people already knew I could do that. Um, and then when the pandemic hit, people knew that that was something I was doing and that was something live streaming and video and, and audio was something that a lot of people were like trying to figure out real quick. So I just had a, like a bunch of people hit me up. Hey, could you help me set up my setup and, and do this and do that? And um, they would pay me, you know, um, long story short, I, I, it's funny because since the pandemic now, I still do my I still have a, my own job and stuff that I work and stuff. I, I work in insurance, um, but just off of helping people, I probably made 30 or 40 thousand dollars just helping people set up their setup and, and get the right equipment and consulting about how to work the equipment. And that's why I said, like, that's something that I could do for you. I, if I stay close to you, I would just hook you up and just do it for free. Just to, you know, pay it forward and see you, you know, level no, up your stuff. I would stuff, pay but... you something, but that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I made about 30 or $40,000 just doing that. And then I said to myself, well, I mean, this could be something, right? Um, and that's the actual technical, physical side of it. But there's still a whole like, um, you know, business side of it, like as far as learning and, 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 and things like that. So that's why I came up with content ecosystem. And um, that's kind of how it was born. And uh, yeah, so just to answer your question, I can absolutely see this being like a full time thing for me. Um, if I figure out the online side, like the online side of maybe how to get into courses, mm -hmm. getting learn the email, email marketing, learn Facebook ads, I'm taking Facebook ads courses now, um, YouTube ads, like if I learn that whole digital side of it, it's game over. That's game the part. Yeah. yeah, I have the physical side, but I need the digital side. Once I figure the digital side out, like Diana Gladney is one of my coaches, I pay her to coach me and, and teach me about certain things. Let me tell you, is when I figure that out, is yeah, definitely full time, absolutely. Yay! I'm so excited for you. You're about to blow up. I'm so <laughs> I'm just gonna save this conversation, <laughs> and then I'm you know like three years from now when you are speaking at Biz Summit with your millions of subscribers. Hey, that'd you know, be lit. <laughs> rolling up in your roles and all this or whatever you're. <laughs> Not gonna be that, like, nah, that will be <laughs> <laughs> nah i'm i'm super down to earth so yeah man like I, the way i look at it is like we're coming up together right so we should definitely do like some video collabs i think i already told you this too like let's do some video collabs on on youtube and by then you'll have your setup leveled up so it's not looking all fuzzy like it is now no shade no shade oh okay <laughs> fair enough that's fair <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to put that fire on you so you can be like, yeah, he motivated me to hit up Roberto or call somebody who who knows, just call somebody and get that M50 hooked up. So, yeah. That'd yes. Be I mean, it can't be rocket science, right? I guess I guess I feel like it. It's really not rocket science. It's <laughs> really not. Seriously, it's not. Um, OK, and so another question for you, and I promise I won't keep you forever and ever and ever. But no, you're good. You're good. What is the number one thing you wish new content creators new man um so new content creators so and i'm a new content creator right so i can a just brand kinda, baby new like yeah brand baby new that they would hook up their m50 <laughs> 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 yeah no <nah. laughs> but shame <laughs> yeah yeah i would say you know like um, of course, I mean, I can go super cliche and be like, figure out your why, you know, but I don't even want to say that. Like, I want to get past the why, right? 
this is for the person who already have his why, you know what I'm saying? Why I'm doing it? Because at the end of the day, uh, the creative, like a content, the current, sorry, I get too deep sometimes. So <laughs> this isn't going to be super deep, but I'm trying to make it as palatable as possible. So not only you or but other people can kind of see what this guy is kind of loony. No, I'm not loony. I'm trust me. I'm going somewhere with this. Right. So a creative by default creative, we can be very like um, sporadic. We can have tons of ideas coming right like man i have this idea i have this great idea that's just a plight of the creative we just have idea after idea after idea i know that's something that's been holding me back because uh, like something that i like to say is the enemy of a good idea um is another good idea right that's the enemy of a good idea because it's like man this is a great idea i got to go do it now and while you're in pursuit of that great idea you get another great idea that totally detracted you from that first good idea so and that's a vicious cycle uh, as a creative that's a vicious cycle of good idea after good idea after good idea that you're never putting into that you're never implementing and putting into practice and also capitalizing on because you just can't get crap done because you got so many good ideas so after you figure out your why, right, um, then I would say really be hold yourself accountable, right? And something that I'm trying to get, which is why I say I'm I'm a fairly new creator, but I would say really sit down and get a system together. And this is something that's going to change the game for me because I'm working on that part right now, but I don't have a systematic approach, right? A systematic approach to what I'm trying to accomplish, you know, so Doc Rock always say system, save yourself time, energy and money. I think that's the that's the acronym, right? Save time, energy, money. Save yourself time, energy, money. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So, and and it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like systems. So I'm I'm trying to save myself time, energy, and money. Systems. So it's not like I'm not shooting in the dark. I know exactly. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. This is after I do this piece of content. This is how I'm going to distribute it. This is how I'm going to repurpose it. And this is the point of that piece of content. Because a lot of times we just put a content out no point like what is the purpose of this content diana gladney always says look at your content like little employees for you right so hey if this employee isn't no, helping you gonna, yeah like little employee like you're deploying these little employees everywhere you go this is your the content that's gonna you're expecting to have a, a roi right it may some content pieces may be a big roi some might be small but at least you're getting something from all of them so that's the dope part about being a content creator is you have all these little employees going out for you, working for you. Now, you know, once you get your catalog up, you can in some ways kind of chill a little bit, right? And just get the fruits of the labor. So what I would tell a brand new content creator is get yourself a system, figure out your system that works for you. Um, and, and then hold yourself accountable to stay on that system, hold yourself accountable to do the work. And that is the hard. I, I think that's the hardest part for me and for many content creators that separates them from like the Roberto Blakes that we talk about, who's figured it out. And I've seen his income statement on his YouTube channel. He makes, you know, $200,000 a year doing creative stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine making almost a quarter million a year just doing what you love to do, right? And that's not to take away from he works his butt off. You know, he pushes through he holds himself accountable i mean so, so many people get it twisted oh i'm doing what i love to do but that don't mean you still don't have to work hard for it right so uh, i would just say um, get yourself a system if you're a new creator and don't fall into like the weeds and don't fall in the cracks of just like doing whatever you want to do however you want to do it um, get yourself a system that is such excellent advice okay so you did like <laughs> three tweetables in that one, that home one statement about Beatables. systems and employees, yeah, your content yeah. being little employees yeah, and yeah. enemy, the enemy of a good idea is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> preaching yeah. on here. Preaching on here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate Love it. it. Love it. This has been fantastic. So, okay. Before we go, okay, I, um, I'm going to ask you a fun question, you know, so uh, we talked all about the the goody content stuff and, you know, background and all that wonderfulness. Um, but my fun question for you all is, right, let's go. What's the most exciting thing you've ever done that you can talk about on air? <laughs> in life or like in content creation? <laughs> it, it, either, anyone. Yeah. Man, so I've done a lot of exciting stuff. You know, I spent my whole early part of my life doing exciting stuff. So, <laughs> Man, so I mean, I guess exciting. So I mean, just a little 
if if I want to put it into context, so you can be like, why was that so exciting? Because, uh, con- you know, to be honest with you, exciting can be a relative term. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I know that some privileged families they can go to London or Paris, and it's like that's exciting. But to me, that's mind blowing because I couldn't even get out of, get out of my hood when I was a kid. So uh, I guess the most exciting thing for me is when I was, you know, really grinding on my music. And, um, you know, I had I still do have a gift for music and I was really good at like doing beats and hooks. And we got to a point where my group was getting on the radio and we were actually getting a lot of play in, in Orlando, which spread to Florida, which spread to the southeast. And we were always touring Thursday through Sunday in, in a new spot or club or stadium or amphitheater, just doing a bunch of shows and people kind of singing our music word for word. Uh, we had a big song called I'm Not Locked Down, which was huge in Florida. So that's why I said, if you were in Tallahassee, you possibly could have heard of it. So um, and from there, we started getting calls from major labels. And it was my first time literally out of the hood being flown to California, sitting with the label heads, New York, sitting with the label heads in Miami, sitting with the label heads in uh, Atlanta, sitting with the label heads in the studio with big producers and artists. And I just kind of wanted to put that in context because that was probably that like time frame was definitely like some of the most um, like thrilling and uh, exciting times in my life. So just kind of going through the whole process of a uh, new artist to rising artist to getting a record deal with Universal Records and, and being a signed artist, definitely some of my funnest times. Awesome. Totally can identify with that, um, <laughs> you know, little brown girl here. And, hey. uh, you know, from the country, our people are have country roots. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, could never, could never have imagined, you know, some of the places I've been and all that. Um, That's what's up. So where are some of the places you've been? <laughs> Do share. I'm writing a book about the best place ever, which is Scotland. Wow. So I got to live and work there, Alicia, Ooh. for a year before I came here to Atlanta five years wow. ago. And wow. it was amazing. It changed my entire life, my wow. entire life. And wow. so you know the book, Eat, Pray, Love, or you've probably seen the movie. Well, yeah, yeah. You might not have seen the movie, but you at least know about it. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't seen the movie, but I know I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Eat, pray, love. And so it's like people criticize that book so much because they were like, well, that was a rich white lady, you know, relatively rich. She got a six, <laughs> she has six figure advance on her book to go travel the world. And she, you know, had had it all by a lot of people's standards. She had yeah. It the marriage and the house and the nice career and blah, blah, blah. And she was still unhappy and yep. was like having a divorce in her life and the divorce is getting horrible. And wow. she just decided to pick up and use that advance to go to Italy and, um, and Bali and where else did she go? Italy, Bali, um, and one other place, India. So wow. And that was all three of those places I really want to go to India, Bali. Yeah, I want to go to those places. I'm actually vegetarian, so they have a high population of vegetarians in India. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. So uh, I know that I know that I uh, like uh, I know the food is just amazing over there because you know they they're they're used to not eating animals, kind of if that makes sense. (laughs) Yes, yeah, absolutely. So, um so it, anyway, long story short, you know, that whole Scotland experience for me was like the opposite of that. Cause I was not rich white lady with it, have, you know, with it all, um, going overseas. Uh, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was a little Miss Brown girl who's never been anywhere and you know, getting my passport for the first time and all that. And people were like, you going to go live overseas yeah, girl, a little Miss so, Brown girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you mixed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought I saw that on your, on your Facebook. Your, your dad is black, right? Yeah, he is. I, and my mom's from Alaska and she's half Filipino and half Alaska native. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah. cool. Cool. Very so you could cool. be like Drake's cousin or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Drake, yeah. Drizzy. Hey, you see if you got any family up in, uh, up in uh, Canada. Canada is another place I wouldn't mind at least visiting. I think Canada is super cool, man. You know, no, no, they don't have any health. What well, they don't need health care. They don't have any like gun control issues. It's like just cool up there, man. Same with Scotland. Scotland is like that too. Like they don't do guns. They don't like wow. you can't even have a knife on your person legally. Like wow, 
it is that serious. Yeah. Like you really have to have a real reason to have a gun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I know. Like maybe you got to be the authorities or something. That's not how it is here though. Everybody in the auntie, baby, daddy, mama, cousin, brother-in-law got, got a gun. Like for what? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh, cool. Yes. I know it. That's a whole nother conversation for another day, but yeah. Alicia, it was so awesome chatting yes. with you. This yes, great. absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah. But thank you for having me. I really, truly appreciate anybody who reaches out. You know, I don't take it lightly because, you know, so many, especially in these days, so many people, it's so important to collaborate, right? And to reach out and to be authentic and to build community and just build relationships, authentic relationships. So I appreciate you reaching out and asking me to do an interview on in any capacity. Hopefully we can do it again, you know? Definitely, definitely let everyone know how to find you. So Alicia Way, they can find you um, with that name on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, right? Yeah, so I'm I'm at Alicia Way on all social, E-L-I-S-E-O-W-A-Y, no spaces on all social, um, and also EliciaWay.com. I think that right as of right now, it just sends you to my link tree with all my other links. But, you know, until I get my site up, that's sufficient that's right fair. but yeah so definitely I'm but mostly most of all I'm just pushing my YouTube right now because YouTube is what will send you to everything else of course if I pique any interest on YouTube and you buy into my community over there then you're automatically going to go to my IG and my you know, clubhouse and all the other stuff but right now it's YouTube 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 very cool so head to Alicia Way on YouTube subscribe right now that brother's got it going on you got to appreciate it videos. yeah I appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> all right I hope you enjoyed that interview thanks so much for being here again I'm Andrea with the ADS agency please give us a follow at T H E A D S agency the ADS agency like ads like advertising that's on Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn YouTube podcast if you're listening to this on podcast Google Play, Spotify, Apple. Please be sure to subscribe, leave a review. I read all the comments and really, really love reading them. So please keep them coming. And furthermore, we are now on Clubhouse. <laughs> I'm on as my own personal self, but as always tied to the ADS agency. So you can find me at Miss, M-I-S-S-A-D-S, -S -S 08 on Clubhouse. Darlings, find me now, okay? <laughs> That's the same for TikTok too. All right, thank you so much. And finally, if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. The button is below. Hit subscribe, then hit the notifications bell after that or else I promise you, darlings, you won't see this ever again, okay? You gotta hit the notifications bell. Same for Clubhouse. All right, <laughs> see you later.